Hello everybody, Caleb here from CalebTempleman.com. Welcome back to Creator Interview. In this episode, I'm privileged to bring on Ray. He's got a YouTube channel, Multiple Scam Bates. We're going to ask him questions based on three subcategories. Personal background, what do you currently do? What do you aspire to do? In that sense, you know, man, you were one of the one of the people that actually inspired me to to start scam baiting on YouTube, even though I don't do much of it now, but you were one of the inspirations. So tell us about yourself. Who are you? I'm a computer technician veteran. I've been in computer technology now for 30 years professionally. I've been around computers since I was really 10 years old. I naturally graduated towards wanting to use them and I eventually started working with them. And I currently work as a computer support representative for a fairly large healthcare company. And it's through that experience providing customer service that has given me leverage as a scam baiter, I think. So I can hit them, I hit these scammers with technical expertise, but also I am customer service oriented. So I know how to turn the tables and be and, and turn that against them. That's amazing. It's pretty yeah. self-explanatory in the name, but what kind of content do you produce on YouTube? Primarily, um, I started off only calling scammers when they popped up a fake virus alert when you were browsing the internet. It would say something like, your computer is cra will crash. If you don't call us, you will lose your data. So I would call them up. I would pretend to be an elderly person who didn't know what they were doing. And I think when I first got started, it was mostly an irritation with them. But then it realized that using what I know and making the calls last as long as I could, I was effectively keeping a scammer from being able to do their work. That's it. I was saving some unknown victim out there. Do you do social media full time or as a hobby? It's, it's what I would call a part time job. I'm literally, I work eight hours a day. And then when the day's over, I turn around and do a live stream that can be anywhere from typically three to five hours so it's it's what i consider to be a, a part-time job definitely um, you know and it's I, more putting in that hours and that's all you're doing you're wasting their time um trying oh, yeah. to yeah. that's the aim you know i don't just simply call them up um every day around 9 a.m my time i go through my my spam and i'll see um like a like a walmart invoice i call the scammer on my break using a voice changer and I convinced them that I'm a real person, but that I have to go to work and that I would like to be able to call them when I return home. My scammers are working overtime to scam me. Right. So it's that much more punishing. It's that much more punishing because usually the scammers that I work with have not done very well during the day. And they think that I'm going to be their golden, golden ticket. The golden ticket to, to get that money. Pay only to find out that I am the worst nightmare <laughs> in terms of wasting their time. Like what sort of got you into scam baiting? Was it more about experience and computers and stuff or, or what got you into scam baiting? Um, I could have started earlier knowing what I used to get irritated by. I think what, what got me into it purely was I had a roommate when I started my channel. He went to lunch with me after I produced my first video. And by then he had sat in and listened to a few of my phone calls. So he is an Indian, he's an, an Indian native. Yeah. And he said, I love what you're doing. He goes, these jerks need to have their, their time wasted. And he goes, but I need to, I need to be honest with you. Your female character is the most effective at getting them upset. Do you have any, any inspiration? for many for many of those creators to start scam baiting or did it really come from the ground up for you my, big, my, my biggest inspiration is petty as petty uh, petty pranks oh yep he's not that well known but he, he does have some really good he has one where he plays like he's his brother and he he when when the scammer wants him to go to www he goes how do i spell d-a-b-l-u d-a-b-l-u Oh yeah. And, um, when it comes to um, like Kid Boga, he's my inspiration for some of the special effects and programming that I do. 
um, like my fake bank and things like that. Um, and then, of course, Jim Browning tricks scammers into installing backdoor access software. Right. And we rescue. What we do is we monitor the scammers, and if they're on with a victim, we will either send the victim a text and tell them to restart their computer, or we'll call them and then let them know that they're talking to a scammer. So, you know, next question is, what kind of scams do you play, John? Now the, 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 the main one I deal with right now are refund scams. And then I start, oh go. my God, I gotta get in my car. <laughs> wow, and it, to them, it, oh, it, it sounds no, real. No. Yeah, it does. And I, I practiced, when I went to make the sound effects, I called myself on a cell phone to adjust my sound levels so I can kind of get an idea of what would sound realistic. So this is live avatar. These are the characters that I actually, I actually play. The ones on the top row. Left is Modern Paul Huckers, Mary Shoe Huckers, Cousin Ray, uh, Jennifer Wilson, Daniel Wilson, Emily Wu, Nephew Philip, Barry Boo, and Cosmo. He sounds like a he sounds like a chipmunk, but he's actually a cricket. Well, we have a we have a rule with our spying, and I'm glad we have it. If we come across any proof that they're trying to go to college. We, we protect that data. We won't, because we do delete their files, but we will only delete things like movies or or sometimes pirated software. But if we'll, do, we'll download customer data, that way we can email the customers. But yeah. if we come across a few scammers that are, that are literally trying to find a job, we have helped um, nearly seven scammers stop scamming and help them get regular jobs and usually in Kolkata I had one got it get a job in New Delhi but that's wow. only seven people but seven's but, better than zero you know. so yeah it's amazing when you do when when you do that that's even more powerful than scam baiting because you get someone to quit scam baiting any anybody in their circle of friends is going to wonder why are, what are they doing and it wouldn't be a surprise if they took some friends who were scamming with them out of it. Yeah, it's more you it's, hope it's, one, it's they fun. might take five, they might take 10, and then from there, it's just that the domino right. effect, more and more would go. Now, you know, yeah. I've many live streams where you've flooded the call centers. Tell me a bit about that. Is that just pretty much you're sending bots to yeah. like yeah, fake calls for these I, call centers I, to get them shut down? Yeah, I have, I've created a, a what I call an Autobot. 20 virtual machines. These are like PCs running inside of a program called VMware. So it's like I have 20 Windows 7 machines. Um, I wait for me to fill out a special form with the phone number of the call center. And the form that I use is called, uh, it's called Floodomatic. Uh, most of my utilities have a, a, a thing like So I kept that going on them for a total of seven hours. Wow. Um, and after the after the third hour, it wasn't playing pigs and donkeys. It was just playing two sounds, a screaming sound and a laughing sound. Wow. And my, my, my records are that I just recently, I've actually done three trips to Target for one scammer. Wow. That's how, how much they believe me. If someone was new to scam baiting, if you could give like one tip, what tip would you have for them? Watch other scam baiters, um, particularly, and it's not just scam baiters. Um, terrorizing telemarketers is a really, if you just search for terrorizing telemarketers, um, then there's, um, I like IL, IRL Rosie. She's, she's good, good to watch because yeah, she's really she will show you. She will the... show you what what voice acting can do. I would concentrate on the smaller scam baiter channels, um, only because you can go to their live streams and you'll be able to talk to people. Um, a good one was like Harvey Dent. Um, my oh, yeah. channel is still considered small, so you can come to my channel, and and you'll be able to talk to some nice people. I I supply people with a downloadable virtual machine that they can use that looks like a real computer and it's a it's a free download to let them 
have something that's safe for a scammer to remote into. I will never give, I will never help a scammer with cash. Even if they tell me, oh, I'll become a good person. I do it the other way. I offer a way for them to transition. You lost it really the program. doesn't. It's a very sensible. It doesn't cost them anything to do it. They work at night, so they can go to interviews during the day, and go to work for a, a gray scammer. The characters that you've got, how you, you know, you you in what do you call it? You like include the viewers with regards to voting, the effects, all of that. You content's great. In conclusion, what's your social media and where can we find you? Um, both channels is just look for Modder Modder Paul M O D D E R P A U L. You can do the same for Twitter. You'll find me there. Um, you'll find me on Instagram under the same name. Although I don't recommend Instagram yet because I got some pretty funky looking cartoons up there. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I, I highly recommend going to the Twitch live streams. They take place Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I will be calling scammers associated with Australia. I'll be using a VPN that makes it look like I'm in Sydney. Oh yeah. As well as my, my phone provider will make it look like I'm calling from Sydney. I'm going to probably call a lot of Telstra scammers. Yeah, smash the men, smash the Thanks for your time, Ray. Thank you for watching. We'll yeah. see you next time. Yeah. Thanks a bunch, man. Have a good one. Awesome interview, man. I'm, I'm going to edit that.